<laughs> okay, have a very cool clip for you here for you uh, diamond geekies. <laughs> In this video, we're taking a look at uh, two diamonds, two, I'm going to tell you, two extraordinarily cut diamonds. The diamond on the left is a diamond we have in our inventory, beautiful combination, 207 GVS2. Um, now, you, you're going to notice optical differences between this diamond and this diamond, okay, that you could see even right here in the video. And the primary difference, now this second diamond is a 221. It is a diamond in our inventory. Um, actually, it belongs to a client. It's a KVS2, as graded by GIA. And this, the difference between these two diamonds that we're visually observing here is this diamond has lower half facet length of 78.5%. Now, the lower half facets are those facets between the pavilion mains. And this diamond has lower half facet lengths of 84%. This is one of the diamonds that are built in our inventory. You don't hear much about it, but it's our Trinity cut. And we altered the diamond. It had this appearance first, and now we altered it to this appearance because we wanted to increase brightness and sparkle in what many people would consider an already perfectly cut stone. So both of these diamonds receive top-of-the-line optics from GIA and AGS laboratories. But um, this here is a little idea of mine, which requires a minor tweak on hearts and arrows. It's a modified hearts and arrows diamond. And um, results in a very bright, beautiful stone. But you're going to see differences in sparkle, <coughs> as well as fire and sparkle as we go into other lighting. So. That's your diffuse lighting. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous diamond too. Let's go look at spotlighting now. All right. Now, one of the pri one of the main reasons why we did um, this feature was to increase the amount of small sparks within the diamond. And if you look at the um, at the you know the lower portion here, right here in these angles, you can see. You got to ignore the glare. There's glare on that diamond right there, but right there that the light that's bouncing off of the main facets in each diamond here see this one has fatter arrows this one has skinnier arrows but what we're also looking at is the amount of small points being reflected within the diamond as well okay and um, we increase the sparks on these little guys I shouldn't say little they're over two carats um, by increasing that lower half length. So, in the Trinity, not only do we have um, our fire elements, but we also see some more scintillation elements of smaller, more smaller sparks in this guy. We're going to go into stronger spotlight and we can see this a little bit more obvious too. But this is the, our dim spotlighting and we can see the difference here. Okay. Okay. Now, just even leaving the diamond stationary like this and moving the light over the two diamonds. Now, I may be uh, picking uh, hair here. Uh, what, how, what's that expression? Being meticulous. You know what I'm saying. Being anal. But you can see, I mean, both of these diamonds are optical powerhouses, granted. But look at that diamond on the right. It's just teeming with sparkle and fire. Both of them are teeming with sparkle and fire, really. They're both hotties. But watch as I tilt, as I rock and tilt. There's a lot of action going on, really, in both diamonds. But there is, uh, you can see those little tiny sparks just flying around. Um, a little bit more so in this diamond on the right. Okay. So both of these diamonds are visible, visibly gorgeous, gorgeous stones. Absolutely spectacular. So in each of the lighting environments, so we can see um, those differences in appearance. Uh, to some people, this may make a, a big deal difference. To some people, maybe not. But bo both of them are gorgeous spectacular diamonds. Neither one's lacking um, in either way. Just two different flavors 
of diamond within the AGS ideal GIA excellent zenith. Okay. Both beautiful. We're going to go in natural ambient daylight too, just for a final wrap up. Very pretty to look at. Alrighty, and here we are in natural ambient daylight. And here are these two spectacular beauties side by side. Once again, the, uh, the diamond with the 78.5% lower halves on the left, and the diamond with the 84% lower halves on the right. Okay. Two two just gorgeous diamonds you know in this lighting those lower half facets really light up nicely uh, on the pavilion and when you lengthen the lower halves you give those those facets more real estate on the pavilion and you get a lot of beautiful bright reflections going on there it's really gorgeous but they're both spectacular spectacular precision cut beauties here we're proud to represent both alrighty thank you for watching and I appreciate your time